Hey guys, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. I'm gonna walk you through a house that I've already done a video on. It's our Mount Bachelor 26 footer. You know, after taking a look at the first video, nah, there's some things that might, maybe we could have done a little bit better. So I'm gonna walk through it. I'm not gonna try and repeat exactly what I did the first time, but I'm gonna highlight some of the points that I, that I expressed last time. Hopefully give you a kind of a, a little bit better overview of what this house has to offer. You know, since we built this house, it really has become a very popular unit for us. Um, and I wanna talk about some of the comments we've had and some of the ways we might be able to modify this particular floor plan to meet your specific needs. Uh, not that that's all the answer to it, but it's gonna kind of open up maybe some other uh, options that maybe you might not have thought of. So with that, I wanna start off first at 26 foot. It's our Mount Bachelor floor plan. Um, you can see it's got the uh, standard um, metal accent uh, here, although the standard metal accent we're doing is a standing seam and it actually goes up and down as, a for, as opposed to the horizontal that you see here. 3080 windows, uh, we've got four of them in this floor plan. These two are standard. The back two, uh, we've actually upgraded from the smaller window to the 3080s you see there. And of course our uh, single light French door with the built-in blinds. We painted it red to give you a nice pop on this floor plan. I think it, it turned out really, really cool. Um, so with that, oh, one more thing. I wanna point out what we've done here with the accent area. You'll notice the roof line. This is a lofted floor plan, and we've added a one and 12 pitch uh, shed roof accenting the uh, living room area. Kind of giving you a little more height and you can really get, get a good idea what that looks like um, once we get inside. And I, as I say all the time, can't wait to show you. Come on, let's check it out. All right, here we are inside the Mount Bachelor. Um, you know, our uh, entry, this is an upgrade oak ladder we've got here, uh, and it's hanging on the, uh, the storage hooks right now. Of course, put on the next hooks and it's for climbing. Uh, we've got the entry cabinet here. Of course, this can be, uh, it can have hanging rods inside of it. It can be multiple uh, shoe cubbies in the bottom, smaller doors, you know, a lot of different con configurations can, can occur with this depending on what your uh, particular needs are. Um, slide the ladder back so it's tucked away here. Um, I wanna point out this really cool, uh, this is a Murphy, and I call it a banjo Murphy table because of the shape that it's in here, you can kind of see that. Um, and this portion of it folds down. Uh, to, to allow you a little bit more mobility in here and, and some more space. Uh, we've added a cool little accent behind the sweeping ladder, as you can see there. I mean, you can put stuff on top of it. It's a nice little uh, color change in here. It kind of breaks up that area, in, in, in my opinion, anyway. Um, one of the coolest things that we added in this build from the first time we ran the video I'm going to show these to you. I think they're absolutely incredible. Are these uh, cellular blinds. Check this out. They're remote controlled. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. So you don't have to reach up there. You don't have cords hanging down that will get in the way or the kids will get, uh, get them tangled up or the animals might. And they're just a pain. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? And look how much warmer and um, how much how much the light actually diffuses in here. I'm gonna at first I wasn't gonna run these all the way down. Now I am. But take a look here. I'm also gonna take the blinds down from the uh, single light French door. I mean, it also muffles the, the, uh, the sound from outside. The uh, other windows, the smaller windows, these are finger pull. Once again, cordless. Look how easy they go down. Watch how easy they go back up. You simply squeeze that and boom, go back up. Isn't that cool? Let's take these babies back up. It's like my new toy. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, we can do these in a multitude of, of colors, um, designs, finishes. We also do roll-up shades. Uh, perhaps we'll show that in a model at some uh, time in the future. But I think this is a really nice addition uh, for those of you that might want a little more privacy, we can also do these in blackout so it even gets darker in this area. But I think it's pretty cool, don't you? TV placement. 
Sally, so if you did turn this into the, let's say, the living room with a sofa or love seat in here, um, we can easily place a TV mount uh, on the ceiling. It could come down on a telescopic rod. It could come down. We can also put it, I don't know if Nick can get a good shot above the door here, but we're actually changing the location of the mini splits in this house to where they're going to be above the um, kitchen cabinets on, on the other side. So that's going to leave you that whole area up there as open. And they do some pretty cool TV swivel mounts that kind of adjust into any, any configuration that can easily bring your TV down, up, over, uh, around um, to make easy viewing. So that, that could be another possibility as well. So I know I'm kind of getting into a lot of variables in here, but I really want to kind of give you an idea of how flexible and how many things can actually occur to make this area or this house work for your specific needs. Um, I want to talk about this whole area where the sweeping ladder is. You know, we do the sweeping ladder quite a bit. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. It works well for a lot of people, but we get a lot of requests for other types of, of ladders or stairs. And we can very easily place uh, storage stairs in this area. They come out about 42 inches. That would put the first step about right here from the edge of the loft. So that simply means that this kind of gets smaller. Um, we would eliminate one of these windows if we did do a storage staircase. If we did an open staircase, we don't need to do that. But let's say it is a storage staircase, that goes away. You have a handrail all the way down, and now we're building our storage staircases with handrails on both sides. So what would happen there, this window goes away, this window gets larger, and then we place a, uh, a picture style or a transom window would be at the top there. So we're kind of supplementing the loss of, of natural light coming in this area by doing so. So I, I think that could, uh, that could be a solution in for you. But it's just throwing out some other ideas and things that we could do to make it more fitting to what your, your needs might be. Um, I want to walk back. Actually, I want to show you the kitchen. You know, from Nick's vantage point right now, you're, you're looking at the, why don't we look at the right-hand side here where you've got the kitchen sink. Now these are quartz countertops. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Um, we've got the herringbone backsplash, the uh, springy dingy faucet, um, and uh, oh, did I show you the here? There we go. Sorry, I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean to repeat that. Boom. Um, the uh, soft close uh, uh, cabinet door hinges throughout. There we go. Uh, and some pretty cool features in, the, in this kitchen. Um, if you turn around, take a look at the really awesome looking range. I love this range. I mean, oh, just the colors of this thing and the functionality of it. I mean, it's got the cast iron grates. It's a three burner propane. It's got the built in backsplash. Um, when this is down, you've got additional counter space. I mean, it really is just an awesome piece of appliance here. Um, you've got the nice size oven. I mean, wow, guys, tiny house, come on. Uh, we've optioned in the uh, stainless steel um, range hood. So it's a great, great fit with the stainless that we've got in here. Uh, you can see our 9.1 cubic foot bottom uh, freezer refrigerator. Oh, I want to talk about one thing too. Uh, we've been getting comments about concerns about the oven being so close to the refrigerator that it's going to melt your food. That's not going to happen, guys. Um, I mean, if that ever even comes close, your cabinets will burn up before that occurs. The sides of the oven are insulated fully. The refrigerator is insulated fully. I mean, unless you have that oven on for three days, that's not anything you really have to worry about, in my opinion. But if it's a big deal to you, I suppose we can change the configuration of the kitchen for that, for that reason. Just wanted to point that out. Um, if you flip over to the other side here, we've got the uh, standard uh, pantry cabinet. Now, in this particular case, what we've done is we've made it ready for uh, washer dryer. If you don't want a washer dryer in here, we can have shelves all the way up and down. Uh, no big deal. Uh, you can turn it into a wardrobe. At the bottom, this is a, this is a drawer. And we, we've made this a drawer as opposed to doors or extending the doors because there's a wheel well back there. So we're trying to maximize the usable space there. I talked a little bit about changing the bathroom design to move the toilet over. In doing that, we can also place the washer dryer inside the bathroom. So maybe that's a solution for you if you don't want it in this area. So 
Once again, flexibility is the name of the game, right? Let's flip around and take a look at the flex room. All right, here we are in the flex room, or it could be a bedroom, as I mentioned earlier. You know, I want to want to just kind of lay this out for you. If it if it were a bedroom, the bed would go in this direction, so it would go sideways. Easily place a twin, twin, a full, um, or, or as I mentioned earlier, a queen. It'll snug with a queen, but it's doable. Um, if a Murphy bed were put in this area, it would go in the same direction and fold down this way. Uh, and they do some pretty cool Murphy beds too. I mean, we can have custom built ones for you that have a desk built into them that when you fold the desk down, it becomes a, 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 a sleeping area that you can leave everything on that desktop and it stays in the same position it was when you folded it down the night before. So it's really awesome. So, so this space can be a lot of different things. Um, but we have it set up as a, as a living area right now, or a living room. Um, I mentioned the blinds earlier, and I just want to show you one more time how easy it is to pull them up or pull them down and allow them to go back up. Um, this whole room can be nice and private if that's what you're looking for by, by simply doing, you know, adding these blinds and doing exactly what I just showed you. Um, did you check this table out? Notice that. It's a mathematical symbol for pie course. And what's on top of it? Apples. It's our apple pie table! <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> anyway, I get a kick out of it every time that I look at it. Um, and I love saying that. Uh, hopefully, you know, you guys can, can appreciate some of my goofy humor. Uh, anyway, uh, one more thing. Uh, in this area, you'll notice the sconce lighting in the walls. That lighting is, is standard. Um, nice. Uh, easy, soft lighting. Um, these are standard halogen lights. Uh, if you'd prefer uh, LEDs, we simply swap out the bulbs uh, and they are a lot more efficient when, when using the LEDs. And they've got a lot of different selections in terms of uh, the, the, the brightness of those bulbs and the hue you're looking for. So we do a lot of cool stuff with this, with this area. This is lighting. Um, so let's take a look at the loft. Our last video did not include this privacy wall storage cabinet that we now have up here. I talked a little bit about doing a, a design. This, that's not the design we've done here. This is a lot simpler, but it has added a significant amount of storage and that privacy factor that that's why we call it a privacy wall. Anyway, we're gonna zip up there and take a look at this. Um, so come on up. So look at this. I mean, there's a there's a lot of storage. I mean, we can configure this in a lot of different ways depending on what you want, whether it's these adjustable shelves or closet rods. Uh, it's up to you. Just let us know what, what really fits your needs. I know I say that a lot, but that's really the point, is make it work for you. So here we've got a nice 11 foot by 8 foot upstairs loft. Um, you'll notice we have the same cellular blinds up here and a nice comfortable space. Um, I think this works really well and maybe it's a good fit for you. I love it. Uh, I don't know if Nick can get a shot um, of the ceiling fan and the other loft from up here. Let's move, move the grazing material here. You know what I didn't talk about was the 112 and the um, accent area that we have in the 112 shed area so you can see the the TNG dark stained uh, ceiling accent. You can see our bronze uh, caged uh, fan. And you see that cool little music area we have back there too. That can be a, uh, another bedroom or um, an office space. Uh, uh, really depends on you. So there's a multitude of uses depending on what you want. All right, I wanna show you the bathroom here. Now we've got what we do a lot of times is, is a pocket door. I mean, it works a lot better than a swinging door in terms of use of space because it just tucks away into the wall. Um, I want to talk about this bathroom for a second. Now, this is a four foot deep bathroom. Um, it has a, a linen cabinet over in the corner there. Um, and a lot of times we add optional uh, drawers inside that. You'll notice the sink itself. It's about two feet wide. And we've added the optional uh, medicine cabinet up there in lieu of a mirror that would go up there. Um, this bathroom has a four foot uh, uh, one piece fiberglass shower with two integrated seats in it. And um, 
and, and uh, slim light LEDs in the ceiling. And of course, as always, we enclose the ceiling so it minimizes any opportunity for moisture. And we've got an exhaust fan that vents out uh, outside of the house. I want to talk about the toilet real quick. Um, we've had comments about people don't, don't especially like the fact that you're looking right at the toilet as it's in your field of vision as you're looking into the bathroom. If that's a, if that's a, a concern to you, it ain't no big whoop, guys. We can simply extend this bathroom by a foot. We can give you a larger uh, shower or maybe a tub shower or a bathtub or a jetted tub and move the toilet over to the side. So it ain't no big deal. We can make those changes and plus it'll give you a larger loft by a foot too. So it'll extend that loft to almost six feet, um, which can be pretty cool. That's a good fit for you. Fantastic. Um, easy enough. All right. So here I am in the secondary loft. This loft is almost six feet by eight feet. Um, as I said a couple of minutes ago, hey, this is up to you. Tell us what you want to do. This can be a, a, a wardrobe. This can be a, a bedroom, an office space, a sewing room, a music room. I mean, it goes on and on and on. If you want to just put a privacy rail up here, easy enough done. A little difficult to put the storage cabinet like we had on the other side, but there's a lot of things we can do. So anyway, there you go. You see in the secondary loft, the, you can see the ladder access here. That's the oak ladder. The standard is a, is a pine ladder. Um, it's up to you. Tell us what you would like to do. You've got over, I didn't talk about this, uh, the head space in this particular model is 52 inches from the loft floor to the highest point of the ceiling. That's significant. And by the way, the ridge beam that we have here, this is extensive. We figured out a way to make this a lot shallower and still have the structural integrity that you need in your tiny mountain house so it stays nice and solid. And I think that offers a little bit more headroom up here um, without you know, this, this beam being in the way. So that's just another item that we're improving. We're always looking at ways to do it and do it better. Okay, recap. Here we go, Mount Bachelor, 26 feet long, eight and a half feet long, a uh, wide, sorry about that, eight and a half feet wide. Um, we're uh, 13 and a half feet tall and two lofts. Got an 11 foot uh, master or main primary loft the secondary loft is just under six feet. Um, you're looking, I'm sitting in the flex room right now. They can easily become a bedroom, as I talked about earlier. This house has so many flexible options and uses of different ways that you can make this fit your needs that it just boggles my little brain. Um, so we've got the galley kitchen, the apartment size refrigerator, the really cool range. Uh, with the cool blue lighting, quartz countertops in here, undermount, sink, the commercial faucet, soft close, cabinet doors, um, the, the sweeping ladder, along with a really awesome Murphy table. Um, bathroom, with the configurations that I talked about, I mean, let's make it yours, guys. Um, and in closing, I just want to say, hey, Tiny Mountain Houses, we're here for you guys. You know, if you feel that you know, we can do a good job for you, which I hope you do, please reach out to us, let us know, let us know your ideas, your thoughts, um, you know, and, and how we can best build your tiny house. I can assure you that we will do a fantastic job for you. You'll have a beautiful tiny house um, and you'll be happy with it because that is our utmost focus is that you are happy with your tiny house and we want you to be exactly that. And it makes us happy. So anyway, thanks guys. Reach out to us. If we can do anything for you, Lou Pereira, Tiny Mountain Houses. Thank you so much.